The quality adjusted life year or quality adjusted life year is a generic measure of disease burden, including both the quality and the quantity of life lived. It is used in assessing the value for money of a medical intervention. 1 QALY equates to 1 year in perfect health. If an individual's health is below this maximum, QALYs are accrued at a rate of less than 1 per year. To be dead is associated with zero QALYs, and in some circumstances it is possible to accrue negative QALYs to reflect health states deemed worse than dead. Use The QALY is often used in cost utility analysis to calculate the ratio of cost to QALYs saved for a particular healthcare intervention. This is then used to allocate healthcare resources, with an intervention with a lower cost to QALY saved ratio being preferred over an intervention with a higher ratio. In the United Kingdom, the National Institute for Health and Care Excellence, which advises on the use of health technologies within the National Health Service, has since at least 2013 used a pound per QALY to evaluate their utility. Meaning, the concept of the QALY is credited to work by Klarman and later Panchal and Bush and Torrance who suggested the idea of length of life adjusted by indices of functionality or health. It was officially named the QALY in print in an article by Zechhauser and Shepard. It was later promoted through medical technology assessment conducted by the U.S. Congress Office of Technology Assessment. Then, in 1980, Pliskin proposed a justification of the construction of the QALY indicator using the multi attribute utility theory. If a set of conditions pertaining to agent preferences on life years and quality of life are verified, then it is possible to express the Agenda Euro unregistered trademark as preferences about couples, by an interval utility function. This utility function would be equal to the product of an interval utility function on a life years a, and an interval utility function on a health state a. According to Pliskin AL, the QALY model requires utility independent, risk neutral, and constant proportional trade off behavior. Because of these theoretical assumptions, the meaning and usefulness of the QALY is debated. Perfect health is hard, if not impossible, to define. Some argue that there are health states worse than being dead, and that therefore there should be negative values possible on the health spectrum. Determining the level of health depends on measures that some argue place disproportionate importance on physical pain or disability over mental health. The effects of a patient's health on the quality of life of others do not figure into these calculations. Calculation The QALY is a measure of the value of health outcomes. Since health is a function of length of life and quality of life, the QALY was developed as an attempt to combine the value of these attributes into a single index number. The basic idea underlying the QALY is simple. It assumes that a year of life lived in perfect health is worth one QALY and that a year of life lived in a state of less than this perfect health is worth less than one. In order to determine the exact QALY value, it is sufficient to multiply the utility value associated with a given state of health by the years lived in that state. QALYs are therefore expressed in terms of years lived in perfect health half a year lived in perfect health is equivalent to 0.5 QALYs the same as one year of life lived in a situation with utility 0.5. QALYs can then be incorporated with medical costs to arrive at a final common denominator of cost QALY. This parameter can be used to develop a cost-effectiveness analysis of any treatment. Weighting The weight values between 0 and 1 are usually determined by methods such as those proposed in the Journal of Health Economics, Time Trade-Off. Respondents are asked to choose between remaining in a state of ill health for a period of time, or being restored to perfect health but having a shorter life expectancy. Standard Gamble Respondents are asked to choose between remaining in a state of ill health for a period of time, or choosing a medical intervention which has a chance of either restoring them to perfect health, or killing them. Visual Analog Scale Respondents are asked to rate a state of ill health on a scale from 0 to 100 with zero representing being dead and 100 representing perfect health. This method has the advantage of being the easiest to ask, but is the most subjective. Another way of determining the weight associated with a particular health state is to use standard descriptive systems such as the EuroQOL Group CQ5D questionnaire, 
which categorizes health states according to the following dimensions, mobility, self-care, usual activities, pain discomfort and anxiety depression. However, the weight assigned to a particular condition can vary greatly, depending on the population being surveyed. Those who do not suffer from the affliction in question will, on average, overestimate the detrimental effect on quality of life, compared to those who were afflicted. Debate The method of ranking interventions on grounds of their cost per QALY gained ratio is controversial because it implies a quasi-utilitarian calculus to determine who will or will not receive treatment. However, its supporters argue that since health care resources are inevitably limited, this method enables them to be allocated in the way that is approximately optimal for society, including most patients. Another concern is that it does not take into account equity issues such as the overall distribution of health states, particularly since younger, healthier cohorts have many times more QALYs than older or sicker individuals. As a result, QALY analysis may undervalue treatments which benefit the elderly or others with a lower life expectancy. Also, many would argue that all else being equal, patients with more severe illness should be prioritized over patients with less severe illness if both would get the same absolute increase in utility. Recently the results of a European Commission project, its outcome recommended to not use QALYs in health decision-making after surveying 1361 subjects in the UK, Belgium, France and Italy and establishing that the four theoretical assumptions underlying QALYs are invalid, explaining why divergent QALY results can be generated using the same data set. See also, Case Mix Index, Cost Effectiveness Analysis Registry, Cost Utility Analysis Disability Adjusted Life Year, Incremental Cost Effectiveness Ratio, National Institute for Health and Care Excellence, Quality of Life and Measurements such as MANSA and Life Quality Index, Seven Ages of Man. References